My name is Scott Hanser. We are nominating Ralph Hanser for the International Towing and Recovery Hall of Fame. My name is Spence Hanser. I'm Ralph's oldest son. Lucky for me, I got to grow up in probably the most exciting time of the towing industry, the, the, the height of the mechanical wreckers, the birth of the hydraulics, airbag recovery, and he was always ahead of the game and all that stuff. So he started his wreckers in 65. By 68, he was, he was starting to go from light duty into the heavy duty stuff. Um, but dad's mind has always been looking into the future. How does he help people? How does he do better the community that he's in and around? It's got to be perfect or it's not good enough for him. And so in everything he's done, including the towing and recovery, it has to be perfect. I mean, I can remember picking up, we'd have a lumber rack, pick up all the lumber and we'd have to pick up all the twigs and the scrap on the ground because he didn't want there ever to look like there was an accident at that spot. And so everything in towing that we've ever done has been to that level, um, including the, the rigging and, and taking care of people, taking care of loads so that we save a whole load of whatever because somebody owns that load and it's our responsibility to pick it up and to get it to destination without anybody knowing it was even on the ground. So that's the level of intensity and that's the level of perfection that Ralph Hanser has instilled in us and that has done in the wrecker industry for 60 years. And so as, as he walks, he always watched the future and where things went and he began, I believe it was the Interstate Towing Association just before TRAA, then he helped work on putting TRAA together with the core group. He started to spearhead the, the birth of the Montana Tow Truck Association. And in his vision, um, which is remarkable, because if you took what he wrote so many years ago and applied it today, it would fix probably 100% of the problems in the towing industry. And to have that kind of vision from a small area like this is pretty incredible. He's always got the nicest equipment, the best equipment to go get somebody's car. So for example, if you buy a brand new car and it breaks down, we're not gonna bring an old rust bucket uh, mater type truck to you. We're gonna bring a state of the art vehicle to pick up your vehicle and safely take it to where it needs to go. That's Ralph Hanser, state-of-the-art equipment. With, with the, the birth and the growth of Billings, he did the first extrication work. As we grew the company, we, we got into environmental uh, to salvage, to take care of that. And so there's always been a, a side to keep the environment clean for the, for the future, to, to um, always look ahead and then help whoever we can. So, I mean, we're, we're still in a business of helping people. And, and one of probably the roughest times because no one gets in their car and decides or gets in their truck and decides today I'm gonna wreck. You know, Hansers is always doing things for the community, always. And uh, that's, all, that's all Ralph, from parades to you take a, a load that somebody's said we don't want it anymore, we give it away. Hansers is huge in the community and that's all Ralph Hanser that started all that. Um, and again, in the community, from he does a lot of giving. And then some of that, you know, he's not gonna want that. He, he likes to keep that kind of private, but he helps a lot of people, all from his employees to people he doesn't know. I know that the Catholic faith is big for him. He's been a huge part of that, and part of our community in the, in the Catholic church here for, Jesus, ever. <laughs> uh, more working behind the scenes. He's not one of those guys that wants to jump out in front and say, see what I did. He doesn't do that. He's a very behind the scenes guy. He will help people do things. Um, taking credit for it's not usually a big thing for him. I think it's more important for us boys to see that he gets some, and it is very important for us to see that he gets some recognition for the things that he's done. 